Welcome everybody, this is Vince. So I'm here just testing out the new processor and um, graphics card overclocked that I did and everything like that. I'm running Windows 7 now. I'm back to 7 um, just because I can and I got a code for it for really cheap so I decided to install that when I got when I installed a new motherboard and everything like that. So as you can see <clears throat> Over here we got uh, core temp and that's the temperature of the the cores on the processor um, I was doing a test earlier with um, OCCT I think it's called and it jumped the max up to that um, so nothing I can do about that but this is what it's running at with battlefield running uh, the overclock on the card you can see the value there the GPU offset is 122 that's what I just had a random thing I did and um, the memory clock I did just 107 the temperature of the graphics card is 63 degrees uh, fan speed 56 percent uh, and everything and I turn off vsync on the game too so you might see some tearing but everything seemed to be running a-ok -okay. a-ok -okay. so I'm doing this in window mode so you can actually see the other stuff Ooh, fuck, somebody shoot me, somebody shoot me. Oof, dead. Well, yeah, everything is, is stable. Because the, the temperature on the, on the card, the highest that I'll let it go is 84 degrees. And it's not even going to reach that. Um, and it gave me my boost and everything that I wanted out the, out the gate. So that's pretty cool. But overall, I'm very... Well, impressed with the cooler, the um, the H80i, which is, is doing a pretty good job. Even when I had that other uh, CPU stress program, uh, it jumped up to, you can see, 73, 70, you know, 74 degrees uh, or 73 degrees average, which is not bad. Um, I did overclock the processor, a small overclock. I didn't do a big overclock. I did like a... Um, like a six mega, 600 megahertz overclock difference, so I didn't want to go out like 4.6 out the gate. I'm gonna slowly bring it up. Uh, you know, that, I'm just gonna slowly do it. I don't want to fry the thing there. So eventually, I will do a custom loop, but as the way everything is right now it's cool I'm getting good frame rate when I don't have vsync turned on um, frame rate is nice uh, I will be getting 140 for her monitor uh, in the future here so yeah I really look is that like 170 at some points it's pretty crazy so yes I will be getting a nice monitor so I can lock it at even at 120 frames, which is which is going to be awesome. But this card is able to easily do it. Uh, in the future, I will be dropping another one of these cards into this computer. Uh, so, yeah. I'll be able to handle a Titan. You know, right now I can within 5%. Uh, but with two of them, I'll be able to do more. I might have to upgrade the motherboard because I believe the motherboard only does two-way SLI, but four-way crosswire. So I might have to upgrade the motherboard again to um, be able to do the triple SLI I want to do with the 780. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's it. Everything is running smooth. Everything's running smooth. Just thought I would make a little video letting you guys see this. And um, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.